Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to all the geeks out there in our little geekdom. Today is the Sunday of Lanex. It's the finals for the Call of Duty, CSGO, and the Dota ch Championships. Um, Battlefield. Sorry, Battlefield. Battlefield, not Call of Duty, Battlefield, my apologies. I do make mistakes every once in a while, I am only human after all. So anyway, we're here with Jared from Lanex, and uh, we're going to have a little bit of a, a chat with him about how the, the, the event has gone so far and what, what he feels about it. So, Jared, a few questions for you. This 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 event was was successful to beyond belief from what I saw yesterday. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't make Wednesdays, Wednesday and Thursday, or oh, sorry, Thursday and Friday. <laughs> But um, yesterday was was unbelievable, and today obviously you've got the finals. How how, how do you feel things went today? How uh, this weekend, sorry. Well, we had a few technical glitches. We had a few internet drops halfway through the games, but because all the guys are playing together, they understand everyone freezes, mm. everyone's with the same issues, and it was mild. Compared yeah. to some of the previous years, we're having a lot less issues. Yeah. Um, the championships, we well, it's nice. We actually have of the best teams in the finals for most of those. For Battlefield specifically, I know we actually have Team 1 and Team 2 in SA currently oh, nice. playing the finals. Nice, it's, okay. They're in the background, they're currently busy playing their That's best really awesome. games. That's really awesome. Yeah. Um, otherwise, we've had very little issues. The guys are friendly, they quite willing to help each other, they're willing yeah. to talk things out. They're not, we had very little piss fights. Did you have this fight? We had a few guys hitting very aggro, they were getting very close to it. <laughs> um, and we had, like, just the usual, like, it's a land, the guys are not used to the noise. And yeah. So the teams who aren't used to it, they're freaking out of it, but they get used to it, and yeah. life goes on. So the event itself, the lands of that seem to be going a lot better than we could have actually ever expect. Oh, that's really awesome, that's really awesome. So, so obviously overall, I, I'd say, from, from my opinion, it was quite a, quite a success. And, um, being one of the very few lands that I've actually been to, because I generally I see the rage lands and whatnot, but I don't really focus that much. I like the tournament idea that you guys put in here. I think it's brilliant that you guys give prizes away and stuff like that. I know that there are a lot of other lands that do it as well, but it just shows the the commitment from you guys to actually get all of the store holders involved as well. So, so did you invite these store holders personally? Um, a lot of the store holders, well, they were approached personally. Okay. Um, like the, we went through a list of people that we know, people that we want to try. Okay. And we asked them the long short. So I didn't do that much of that organising, but I know they spoke to them. Okay. Um, they had the different options. If they wanted to do stores, they could give away pricing, and they didn't have to pay for the store, or they could buy a stand. Okay. So most of the stores you see here. We gave away prizes in our price. Okay, book, yeah. Which goes directly through to the gamers. Oh, that's awesome. Lanex yeah. doesn't keep any of it. Yeah. Um, we, what we don't use gets put into the store for next year's prizes, uh, and we yeah. give them away next year. That's really awesome. Yeah. So we we keep what we don't use. We're going to reuse, and we're going to give away next year because yes, a lot of, of stuff they're going to keep. They can be yeah. used any time. Oh, that's really awesome. That's really awesome. Okay, so now you, I, I'm not sure you know, but we are actually a geek channel, so we do geeky things and we ask geeky questions and this is where I'm going to actually ask you the geeky questions. It's a little fun thing that we like to do with all of the people we interview so I'm going to actually ask you a few geeky questions. Okay. Uh, one of them being, your favourite geeky TV series? Well, Mythbusters. Mythbusters. Uh, That's actually a really good one. I, 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 I have an obsession with myth, Mythbusters, just yeah. the, like the old school, uh, that was pure redneck science. <laughs> <laughs> if you can call it anything, it's redneck science. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, okay, your favorite superhero? Uh, superhero, anti-hero, or super okay. villain? If I'm going to pick a Deadshot. Deadshot. Deadshot uh, from I, I have to agree, he is he, really awesome. He's, a, just on the, he's something different. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I agree with you there. Deadshot he's is one of those. He's a stupid killer with morals. <laughs> no, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Uh, comic books? Anything anything that actually ca caught your eye when you were younger or uh, now? I am currently still going through I'm doing the Naruto series when I'm done okay. that, I'm going back to the beach manga. Okay. Um, because I've finished the series off. So I'm going to finish that off as soon as the manga is done. Then I'm okay. going to continue watching the anime. Okay, cool, cool. Um, Alright, geeky movie that's come out recently. Anything that, 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 that caught your eye and you think is like your favourite out of all of them? Uh, uh it's hard to decide, I know. <laughs> There's just way too many movies that came out recently. Um, <laughs> Like, uh, my girlfriend's bias, so we ended up watching Wonder Woman recently. It's basically <laughs> okay. the only recent one that's <clears throat> in the geeky area. <laughs> okay. Other than that, it's just flipping, basically Suicide Squad's in a permanent loop there. <laughs> yeah, my wife's the same as well. She loves her Suicide Squad. It's, it's one of her favorite movies. So, she, I, I see where you're coming from. Anyway, Jared, I, I have to commend you again on how awesome this, this, this uh, event has come out. I, I did love it. I think it's brilliant. Um, and you'll be sure to see us again next year. Guys, next year, if you're here in Joburg or oh, here no, in Pretoria... No, I can pretty much guarantee you, we will happily <laughs> have you here again next year. Oh, awesome, awesome. It will be for all four days. Yeah, we'll try to make it for all four days this time. <laughs> Good luck. 
Good luck and bring comfortable shoes. <laughs> oh, no, we'll have to. Hey? Anyway, guys, as I was saying, this is Jared from, from uh, Lennox. Next year, guys, you've got to get to this. This is really awesome. Get yourself some tickets from these guys. I'm sure they wouldn't mind helping you guys out. There are going to be teams here as well. But get involved. See what it's like to actually be involved in a land. And we'll see you guys in the next run. Jared, thanks a lot. Eh? <laughs>